So today I want to look at this 5 amp hour battery. It's a 56 volt 5 amp hour from Ruzix. Ruzix. They actually have a lot of batteries on Amazon and they seem to be a Chinese company. But this one I'm excited about because it's supposed to be a comparable Ego battery. And this is the first time I'm getting my hands on one. It's actually my first battery with a fuel gauge. That's supposed to be an Ego style battery. And right out of the box, that is very, very impressive. I'm very excited about this battery. And just so you know, it's not going to be about cost. Because I did pay about $150 for this battery. And $150 US dollars to me is a lot for a battery. Especially not a name brand battery. I was hoping to see the quality of it and those of you who follow my channel know I have done a lot of work on the D terminal the temperature and then the detection or communication between the pack and the bat the actual pack and the control board or the tool and of course I finally did a video saying I was at the end of my rope with it I um I really couldn't figure it out I knew it was a communication between the two and I knew within 10 seconds it was shut down but I'm excited because I was so hoping that somebody would figure out the code and be able to copy it. And apparently they have done so. So I can't wait to look inside and see how the BMS or, or, or board is done. So the first thing I actually want to do is look inside and see how some of the BMS is uh, in this pack that is actually exceptional uh, build quality. I'm not even so sure this isn't some of the same molds or copy of the same mold of the Ego stuff. I mean, it is extremely similar. Those that know me also know that I actually like buying my tools as a combo, like the, the $299 deal I had for the 16-inch uh, chainsaw that I reviewed in, in a previous video. Uh, the chainsaw was $219, right? And $299, I got a 5-amp-hour battery with it. It was a no-brainer. I mean, I only paid... Basically, you can say you paid 80 bucks for that battery and threw in a charger free, right? I mean, that's one way to look at it. So, so basically, I am paying more for this battery than I have any 5 amp hour battery because I never bought one straight out. But once again, I, I'm, I'm interested in this company and um, I haven't contacted the company. And of course, they hadn't, hadn't sent me this battery or anything. I just want to look at it myself and I would love to eventually... Uh, contact the company if I can and and see if we can um, even buy the boards if we look inside and they look similar looks like a T10 security bit and we will pop this cover off and wow would you look at that that is almost identical to the ego and and we don't have to fool with the potting they did put some potting on the connector to make sure it doesn't vibrate loose but from the dc to dc converter section here and the little uh transformer the little t1 if you can see that that is awesome i like it a lot now i am gauging this based on my older vms boards i do not have one with a fuel gauge I don't really know what they look like for sure, but I do know that even our test points around, it is extremely similar. The little, they're calling it U24 here, but that's the same, the same transistor we had trouble with on our, on my very first uh, Ego Pack repair a few years ago. I mean, very, very similar. I'll, I'll try to have a close-up photo of this so you can see it a little better without me moving. This side does look different, but of course it's been updated to have the fuel gauge, which is really neat. So I really, really like that. I'll have a close-up of this board now as well. By the way, these screws do not have the security studs. Just the regular T10 will work just fine.
So I don't know about these cells. I was pretty sure it claimed it had the cell cooling. If they have sleeves, it's not like the sleeves on the Ego Arc Lithium, but anyway. The board looks nice here. The, the fuse is a lot like the Ego, where it's just a trace there. You can see that wide trace. It's just diffused with the with that solder mask over it there, but very, very nicely made. All your cell contact points are soldered well. You'll just glue down a little bit there. Now, if you can see that, it is the same type of transistor cell monitoring system there that the Ego uses as well. It's very, very similar anyway, where each cell on the ends, so in this case, 28 transistors that they're using for the temperature monitoring there. So that's pretty interesting. I, I just so happen to have the Ego boards here. With the silicone or potting there, it's hard to see, but that's the same thing. They have the transistors or connector on the board there. Very, very similar. Also, back now with my Ego BMS board out of, out of my first repair pack, to see the similarities here as well as here. So how about that? Extremely similar. Wow. I'm just going to work on putting this back together. And we'll be right back. So, so far I'm very impressed except for, you know, the sales. I just don't know how they're going to hold up. So next we just need to try it out. So very, very impressed to how far they came with the copy and the BMS. If they're listening, I hope they um, can help us out with some actually spare BMS parts. And they would sell the parts for the battery as far as e even the end cap itself. Uh, you know, we'll be definitely heading in a, in a lot better direction. For the money, it's got to be really good to compete at that price point when you can get them as a, as a tool set. Like I say, it's such a better deal. But um, I think they can really get some business if you can buy these straight out and get parts with them or whatever. Or maybe get some additional parts because I would actually love to be able to buy the connector board as well as the BMS from them. And maybe even that um, that intermediate board that does the, um, the temperature monitoring. So they'll help us out there with some parts just to keep this stuff going for years to come. It will be very muchly appreciated. So back now with a very basic setup, the reason being I want to do something that's going to be a constant load, even if it takes a while, it's going to be a slow drain, but I have just a 65 watt light bulb and I could definitely put more load, but I want to use it through this Nexus power inverter that I did a video on. So I want to do a, a lower wattage test here and I simply have my new 56 volt battery here and also a five amp hour here. This both been charged up one after the other my newest five amp hour battery that's a non-repaired battery that come with a, a chainsaw i bought so with them both fully charged up here i should do a check 57.6 58 both are charged up fully that's just the way that they charged and showed full and i just have jumpers here and I, the d terminal is important this nexus won't even run at all or start at all without the d terminal hooked up so i did this so i can monitor my current i'll have this on video and try to catch it when it cuts off and how long this one lasts based on how long the original ego five amp hour uh, pack less. I'm also going to try it out in the lawnmower, but it's it's really hard to compare, you know, cutting your lawn one time versus the other. We're just getting into that growing season right now, this hit or miss. Some of the grass is low, a few things, a few, few parts of the grass is taller, but I will just put it in the lawnmower make sure it does okay, and I'll give you some feedback at the end of the video because it may take a few days to get that done, but for right now, we're just going to do this uh, test here and skip through it to the end, and just to compare the two side by side. So back now with both of these packs side by side, both fully charged, both for the same rating, which at nominal 56 volts, this is going to be roughly 280 watt hours at 5 amp hours. So what a, what a roughly 60 or 65 watt load. DC amps, so about 1.4 amps off of the 56 volts or nominal 56 volts output stepped up to 120 ac with that square wave we're at about 0.53 amps 
And the cool thing about this kilowatt hour meter, is we can also look at how many hours it runs here on the clock. So we're going to let this run and we'll elapse the video and we'll come back. One hour in, 52 volts. Almost two hours in, we're down to about 50 volts. Around 45 volts there. You can see that we just got our one red blinking light there. Pretty nice. Now we just simply compare with this Ego 5 amp hour that's fairly new. It's less than a year old anyway. It hadn't been cycled a whole lot. I pretty much keep it just for my chainsaw. So we'll switch it over to this one. We'll try it out. Okay, back now we're going to do the Ego 5 amp hour battery. Current's the same. We'll be back uh, periodically to check on it until the end. So this one lets it go down to 42 volts. So that is a difference there. So I did want to do a, a weight test on the cells. And our 5 amp hour battery fully charged weighs exactly 5 pounds. 5 pounds, 0, 0. Ruzit is four pounds, five ounces, so about 11 ounces lighter. Is it because of the sleeves on the cells? Because uh, is it because of the um, the rubber coating that the Ego has that it doesn't have? Probably a little bit of uh, all of the above. At right at three hours on that run time, so I believe the cell capacity is going to be very very similar. All in all, I was really impressed with the with the battery to be a copy. I really think uh, this is a good step forward in uh, keeping our Ego products going uh, for years to come. Anytime we can get parts available, I really, really appreciate it and i uh, really excited about it. So, and uh, you know, we're keeping things going, we spend our money on. So don't forget to comment down below uh, what you thought about this battery. And any other thoughts you have about it, the video in particular, and if there's anything else you would like to see about it. And if you like this video today, looking into this Ruzit 56 volt 5 amp hour battery, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.